everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of my Walmart fall haul. Have some really nice pieces to share with you in this haul as well. So let's get started. The first item I have is this denim dress from the brand Lee. I think a denim dress is always a nice staple to have, whether it's during the summer, fall, spring, you know, you can really do a lot with a denim dress, make it more relaxed and casual or you can move it into a little bit more dressy if you would i don't know so much dressy i mean denim is casual right the fit is really nice i will say i picked it up in an extra small i think it fits better than if i would have went with the small it was just happened since they didn't have a small in store so i just picked up the extra small thinking okay let me try it of course i share that with you because a size small is my true to size so I did go down in this maybe the small would be a little bit of a more relaxed looser fit although I do think this fits fine it does have side vents you know that adds a little bit of that flowy feel if you would in the movement when you're walking has the button front closure it sits probably right around knee length and is a hundred percent cotton machine washable, all the good things. I really like it. The only detail I don't like is the Lee right here. Not front and center, but off center in your face, which I don't mind so much. I would wish it just didn't have that on there. But other than that, it's an easy outfit, right? One and done. I did pair it with the Western boots that I shared in my part one Walmart video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the card up above and you can watch that after this. Those boots, like I said in my last video, those are really nice, comfortable boots at a very well affordable price. I just have two different pairs from last season at two different price points. One was from Target, one was from... Nordstrom but these are really nice I have to say the heel is very comfortable so if you're not one that does well with heels these are a really nice it's a nice stacked heel that is very comfortable if you chose you can also wear these with flats even sneakers on those like fall vacation days I think that's a really nice option just to wear a plain white sneaker I really like the dress I just don't like that little patch of Lee sort of front and center. The next outfit I have are these trouser pants from Madden NYC, which I think is a junior brand at Walmart. These trousers are $19. Of course, me being in the office full time, five days a week, I could always use another pair of trousers. I saw these, I picked them up in the beige and the black. You'll see me styling them both ways. I wanted to try, you know, a little bit more of a street wear. Not to say I couldn't wear these for work as well, but I wanted to try a different style. And so I paired it with these white platform sneakers from the No Boundary Lines, which happens to be another junior size brand at Walmart. But I picked them up in a six and a half, which I'm a six and a half to a seven, depending on the shoe and the brand. But these were really nice. They're comfortable. I mean, they're not leather. They were under $20. And I think for just a clean, sharp looking white sneaker, they were really comfortable. They have the memory foam in there. They are great. Now, I will add, I haven't worn them all day. I haven't worn them outside. I was just wearing them around my house and they were still really comfortable. So I can't give you the review on actual pavement, but I do think that they were really comfortable. They didn't hurt my upper footbed or anything like that. But let's get back to the pants. The pants are a 29 inch inseam. They're 95% polyester with some spandex thrown in there. They're a wide leg trouser, zip fly, they are machine washable. Again, who doesn't like that? For $19, I think they're really well worth it. And they actually have the elastic in the back. It is a front zip, but then it has the stretch in the back. So if, you know, throughout the day you need that little bit of stretch, you have it in the waistband, which I think is great. I will point out they are high rise. I'm not a lover of high rise, but I'm getting there. If you haven't been here long enough, I have a short waist and high rise generally is uncomfortable for me, but I'm getting better at 
figuring it all out. These pants, you get what you pay for, that's number one. Number two, you know, for under $20, that can go from more casual and I can wear them to the office because I would not hesitate wearing them to the office. Absolutely. And you'll see later on how I paired it with the black pants. Totally versatile. And I was really pleased with it. So again, I went a little bit more casual and I paired it with just like a flannel. What I'll say about that is I like the bottom half look the top for me i would change that and probably do something a little bit more structured a because the pants themselves are a wider leg and the top just is a little too much material in order to balance that out right you would go slimmer on top wider on the bottom or slimmer on the bottom wider on top just to balance out your silhouette i should have hindsight put it with like a tank and then maybe just have like a denim jacket over it. Going forward, that's what I would do because I do plan on keeping these pants. Again, price point, they were comfortable. They are online, two pockets. My idea is to throw them in on the casual days if I just want a little bit a chicer look. I don't even know if that's how I mean that with a platform sneaker, but that could be chic. And also wearing them for work I think is really the focus of it. The Time and True brand has a lot of different options for flannel tops. So I have a couple of them. I have the one that I wore in the bay with the beige pants. Then in the last video, I had one like a navy and light blue print, which I really like that. That one, very comfortable, very relaxed, very soft. They fluctuated between like 15 and $18. I picked up the pink and white one which i talked about that i wanted i picked it up i returned it i repurchased the pink and white uh, along with the navy i think i like those two better than the one that i have paired with the beige pants anyway i will link them all down below i really like those and i find it i have a hard time with wearing plaid patterns and then put it with the flannel. It just doesn't necessarily work for me, but these are really soft and relaxed and I want them in every color. Okay, moving on to the black pants. Here, I wanted a little bit more of a workwear look. So I paired it with this cream crew neck sweater. It's like polyester viscose blend. It comes in many different colors. I got it in my true to size. It is machine washable. It's a mid-weight which I think is great for that fall transition. I'm going to get these in a few other options as well. I need to return this one because there's actually a little hole. I don't know if I did that somehow, if I just like pulled it, but I am going to return it. I don't think I looked closely enough at it when I picked it up in the store. So I was just in the store pulling things off the racks and putting it in my cart. Anyway, it is a pullover. It does have the ribbed crew neck. It's a fantastic basic sweater, lightweight. You can layer it. You'll see that coming up in a moment. Just a basic crew neck sweater, which is a staple. And I do plan on getting it, like I said, in many different colors. For me, this is going to work in a lot of different areas of my life. So for work, absolutely. And then on the weekends, it's just perfect. But I love the way the black and the cream, I love that combination. And then I paired it with this blazer from Free Assembly. I'll have everything linked below, as you know, along with the pricing. But I do think the blazer is $45, just shy of 100% cotton with a little bit of spandex in there. It has the notch lapel collar, single button closure, long sleeves with the button accent. It fits true to size. I got my size small. It fits perfectly. It is lined. It does have a more slim fit. I'll share with you that I have almost the same print at a much higher price point in another brand and they are very similar. I kind of like this one better because the fit of it, while they're both slim fits, everything is, I feel like it's more perfect in this one than it is in the higher price blazer that I have. Both lovely, but I'm just saying. As you can see, I put it on over this and I think it just makes the outfit, right? It just pulls it all together. It was fine when it was just the cream sweater and the pants, 
the blazer just again pulls it together and makes it a complete look i do think that i'm almost positive it comes with the skirt i'm not one to shy away from the mini skirt however this particular skirt that matches the blazer is more pleated and that's what i shy away from for myself i just know enough it does not work for my body type shape anything it doesn't do me any favors and I need all the favors I can get. So the skirt I opted out of, but the blazer is really very nice. So next I have, this was actually on a whim. I saw these pants, they were in the olive green and I'm like, I wanna be over the olive green because it's a neutral at this point, right? But you know, I, I don't know why I wanna say I wanna change it up when in fact, I wear black, beige, gray all the time, so why not just keep the olive green in my wardrobe as well? Anyway, I saw these pants. They are high rise, regular fit, straight leg pant with like a utility flare. They're 97% cotton with some spandex in there. I really like them. I was very happy that I picked them up. They have a really nice, like that cargo-ish utility feel. The pockets are really nice. I actually liked, I don't know if I showed it in the clip, me turning around and me, I'm not sure if you're able to see, but I actually like the way they fit all around. For those of you who don't know, I have a very flat rear end and it's very hard for me to find pants that actually fit my waist, fit the way I want it to be on my legs and of course on my bum that just most of the time they just sag. And these actually fit very nice. And I just, I was very surprised, right? So sometimes we walk in the store or we see things online. And again, I talked about like getting out of your comfort zone. It wasn't the style of the pants. I was just like, oh, do I need these? But I'm really happy that I picked them up. I did pair it with the same cream sweater. I think it looks great. You can wear graphic tees with these pants, even just a button down, even a flannel maybe even putting a camisole underneath or a tank underneath and then just wearing the button up just open and that could be a different type of look. So I saw a quilted barn jacket online and I was like, geez, I should pick that up. It would be great to show. It was supposedly on sale. I'm not so sure. I feel like I've been seeing it at the same price, which is under $40. So I did order that. But then I was in the store and I came across a similar style, but in a vest. So it's this quilted vest. It's 100% nylon, lightweight. I think it's like 30 inches long. It does have the stand up collar. It does have this like neon green, yellow in, you know, on the inside. It's not reversible on the inside, which I was like, hmm. Not, I mean, listen, I'm all about the neon and all the colors. I just wasn't sure it was necessary in this vest. Nonetheless, it does have the two front patch pocket and it does come in two other colors and then it has a removable self-tied belt. I don't know if I'm better off cinching it really tight, the belt, or just leaving it a little bit more, you know, just like tying it ever so slightly without really cinching it. I don't know which way I like best. You guys let me know what your thoughts are on it. I don't know if I need a smaller size. I don't know if this was the right size. There's just something about it. I think it looks so nice, like on the models and everything, but then I'm like, I'm not so sure for me. So please comment down below what your thoughts are on the vest. Really nice, like I said, it's lightweight. If you're a vest person, if you're in you know, warmer climates, but you just need a little layer of something, I think this could be a great option, no question about it. I am not so sure that it's for me though, but I want it to be. Okay, so now you'll see the barn jacket that I ordered online. Again, I picked it up in a small as well, 100% polyester. By the way, there are two different makers. I think the vest is free assembly and this is like Urban Republic or something. Don't quote me, but I will have it listed below. It has four snap flap pockets. It has a removable belt. It's a zip front, which the zipper was really nice. Very easy, really sturdy, like good quality with a relaxed fit. Again, should I have gone down to an extra small? 
so I don't feel like I'm being swallowed in it. You guys, please help me out here. Leave a comment. I want to keep one of them, but then I'm like, I, I, I don't even know if it's worth it for me to go down a size in either one of them. I feel like they just don't work. I'm better off with a no belted jacket or a vest. If you are someone who can wear belts, I think they're both great pieces. And again, I keep talking about the price points, but pricing is important. I say that because I think they're really good quality. I just don't think they're for me. In an earlier clip, I had shown a anorak jacket. I saw it in store. I was like, let me try it. I think it's under $25. If you saw my Nordstrom anniversary sale video, I bought a packable rain jacket that I absolutely loved. It was in my favorites video as well. Love that jacket. Clearly you can't compare the quality and the pricing, but for the pricing of this jacket, I think it's so worth it. I got it in the beige color. The other jacket was in pink. It does have the drawstring hood and you can also cinch in the waist from the inside. It has a snap placket over the zipper closure. It's water repellent, lightweight, polyester, but it, I think it's a great little jacket to have. Clearly you can pack this as well and it would be fine coming out of the suitcase or wearing it on the plane. Overall, I think it's a great option and I'm glad I saw it in store. However, I think at the time of filming, they are out of stock on all sizes, all options, but I can't imagine they're not going to restock. So I have left the link down below and keep checking back, but it's worth it to keep checking if you're in the market for a jacket like this. My last outfit, maybe my favorite, are these cognac pants from Sofia Vergara. In my last video, they are the coated pants, which again, when you hear the word coated, you may think they have, you know, this shimmer and, you know, makes it look a little cheap. No, these are not those pants. These have a nice sheen to them. They're still jeans. They just have an elevated look over the jeans. And I've been a lover of cognac, if you couldn't tell for a very long time. Who doesn't love that color? I have boots in that color that I've had for years. I refuse to get rid of them. I have shoes in that color, which is what I have on my feet. They're old from Calvin Klein. But going back to the pants, the pants are so comfortable. Again, I can only do so much with my backside, but I feel really comfortable in them. They are high rise. If you're looking for a, a colored jean, these are for you. If you're looking for something maybe to step outside your comfort zone, these could be for you in the jeans category, right? But even not, even just adding that little bit of sheen, maybe that's not been your style. This is something to test the waters. I think they are a great price point, great quality, and a really nice fit. I'm sure if you have all all the assets, well then, I think it would even be that much better, but I don't have all of that. I paired it with another Sofia Vergara top. I spoke about one in my last video. This one, the animal print, not going anywhere. I think she does a version of something animal print every season, and this season is no different. I've been becoming more comfortable with peplum tops, and this one, just, I don't know, there has always been, I feel like a little something off with them. I don't know if it's just the peplum itself being short-waisted. I want to like it so much because they're just such a flattering look. And in this top, because of the V-neck, it does have the cinching waist, which is always nice. It does, it's actually adjustable that you can cinch it even further. It has long sleeves long sheared sleeves. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. The fabric on this top is more of like a chiffon feel. So if that is helpful to you in any way, whether you like chiffon or you don't, I just wanted to add that and let you know that that's the feel of it. I think the whole style of the top is really nice. Price point is great as always. And with the pants, I just think it brings it all together. Of course, this top I could wear so many different ways with so many different color options, but I thought this was a standout way to wear that. It's probably like my 
favorite look in this video. Tell me what your favorite look is down below. That does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.